not interfere. You are trespassing on private property. Identify yourself. Now, is that any way to talk to an old friend? Cameron Winter? Accept no imitations. You know Cameron Winter? We went to college together. It's no big deal. He's only the world's richest, most hunkiest CEO. Not to mention the biggest techno guru. As you can see, we have the most sophisticated bioengineering facility in the world. We're making incredible strides. Let's just say we'll be ready to move mankind to the next level once Congress comes to its senses on that cloning thing. <laughs> An army of Cameron Winters. Just what the world needs. Looks like the guru just met his match. Hardly, Mr. Hernandez. I never actually intended any harm. I just needed to field test my cyberflies against a worthy opponent. Is that what this is about? Drawing out Godzilla for target practice? That, and confirming his connection to the illustrious Heat Team. Why don't you all come ashore and tour my facility? I always prefer conducting business face to face. I have no business with you, Cameron. Are you nuts? Nobody's ever seen the inside of Solstice Technologies. We can't pass up a personal invite from the man himself. Not to mention embarrassing stories about Nick at frat parties. Forget it. Anything Cameron Winter has to offer always has strings attached. This is my backup fleet. The latest models are all out in the field. So, you guys were school chums? I wouldn't say chums. Nichols was too busy dissecting garden slugs to hang out with the rest of us. Nichols? <laughs> well, we called him that because Nichols were all he was ever gonna earn. Aren't we shy someone? No. Uh -uh. This is it. Well, I believe the rest of your party has decided to join us after all. <laughs> Neural stimulators makes for much happier pups. You all right? If you promise to refrain from any oh-so-French industrial espionage, I'll put you on the payroll, too. Payroll? I want you and your little band to come work for me. Excuse me? Say what? I can offer you full government cooperation, first-rate facilities, and very generous salaries. I can even make your academic problems go away. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I think we've seen enough. We both know mutation-based weaponry is the next wave. Why not be ahead of the curve for a change? Well, it's about time one of you came to your senses. I've already spoken to the Empire Tech Admissions Board. You can start up next fall on full scholarship, all prior disciplinary actions. Well, they're not there anymore. Hey, you think that's why I'm here? Okay, so I got a little out of control with the computer hacking. Was I hurting anybody? Uh, apparently the Dean of Science has thought so, and no decent school's been willing to touch you since. The point is, Nick stuck his neck out for me. I've got to do the same for him, that's all. This will stimulate the pleasure centers in Godzilla's brain, instantly pacifying him. It's designed to fit inside his inner ear. Think you can insert it? Mind explaining that? The neural stimulators work like a charm on my attack dogs. It only made sense to try it on yours. Where do you come off? Like he's your property. Goodbye, Cameron. It's a wild animal, Nick. How long before it turns on you? He's back in the water, sir. Increase the frequency by 1700 megahertz. He's trying to resist it, sir. Well then, more power to him. Break time's over, Gecko. Your timing's impeccable. Watch. <gasps> I love that! Makes a nice prototype, don't you think? 
Now imagine an arsenal of Godzillas. Not just weapons of mass destruction, but more importantly, my own personal cash cow. If I had a partner to help me work with these critters, someone who knows how they think, where to find them, well, it would be mutually beneficial. Oh, you're right about one thing. You need help. <laughs> I'm stung. What do you gain by attacking your prospective clients? Me? Godzilla's attacking them. I'm just the guy who'll get the contract to replace all the damaged weaponry. Cha-ching. I thought we had an understanding. You jerked me around. I don't walk away from my problems, and I don't walk away from my friends. Pretty speech. Too bad it won't help Godzilla evade those F-18s. Let's see. Breaking and entering? Assault? Industrial espionage? We'll take it from here. I put in a call to Major Hicks. He's real interested in you. My attorneys will eat you for breakfast, considering you've just destroyed all the evidence for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Not all the evidence, Cammy. Be seeing you soon, Nichols. You can bet on it. This is Nick Totopoulos requesting assistance. Major, Craven, anyone. You're, You're wasting, wasting your, your time, time, Nichols. Now, why don't you two just sit back and enjoy my little breakthrough in the ever-growing field of monster eradication. High-resolution satellite photography. Plus, I get all the premium channels. No doubt you've met my chameleon. Starting with a few stray cells from your friend Godzilla, I genetically engineered them to my exacting specifications. That's why their DNA matched. Excellent grasp of the obvious Dr. Chapman. Go to the head of the class. Was he always this obnoxious? He's mellowed. Of course, my remote-controlled chameleon is much more reliable than your independent-thinking Godzilla. Oh, and you may notice, my monster's skin also protects him from your monster's morning breath. Godzilla's weak! What did you do to him? No, oh, just a little pile of fish and an enormous dose of tranquilizers. Couldn't have Godzilla mucking up the works while my chameleon was framing him for crimes against the state. With your boy's approval rating at an all-time low, my boy should come off as quite the hero for destroying him. Then every country will line up to purchase a chameleon of their own. Cha-ching! Get back online, you techno gecko! What's the matter, Ken? Little toy run out of batteries? Well, Nichols, you found me. I'll have to think of an appropriate prize. I know, you can have all the technological secrets stored inside this ship. For the next 60 seconds. Bye-bye. Who, who are you? Cameron Winter, Solstice Technologies. I dabble in computer systems, futuristic weaponry, and a few other... I read the papers, rich boy. What do you want with us? I'm prepared to offer you a chance to serve our mutual enemies a dish best served cold. Lizard. Now, let me get this straight. You busted us out of jail so we could bag that oversized iguana for you. I've taken a keen interest in your case. You're mine. Now, imagine what you could do with some really big guns. Merry Christmas, boys! Lizard Slayer 1 features titanium shielding, 17 heat-seeking missiles, and concussion cannons that can pound away a mountain. Lizard Slayer 2 is an amphibious beauty. She'll do 40 knots with enough firepower to sink the 7th Fleet. And finally, Lizard Slayer 3 with a wide array of missiles and lasers, plus much lighter armor. Lighter armor? How come? So it can do this. Each one features a user interface so friendly, even a monkey can operate it. Huh? It's lizard season. Gentlemen, start your engines. Solstice Technologies. There is no substitute. Yes, I'm in. Hello, Randy. Isn't it a 
pity that modem signals are a two-way street? By breaking into my computer, you've just invited me into yours. You've given me access to all of Heat's systems. What's going on? Trust me, Hefe, you don't want to know. Hiya, Nichols. Want to play a game? It's called Heat Seeker Voyage of Doom. <laughs> Nichols, I am so disappointed in your little team. Uh, does he never stop talking? What's the matter, Fifi? I'm not Jerry Lewis enough for you? Now, where, oh, where are my three little pigs? He sends us out the bag Godzilla, then he hogs all the glory for himself. We ought to ditch his toys right here. No one said anything about firing on the U.S. Army. That's almost un-American. Hello, boys. Taking a little break, I see. You know, I'm getting just a little tired of your high and mighty attitude. Face it, gentlemen. I'm the only friend you have. And your only hope out of this mess. So, now that our Jolly Green Gecko managed to escape from me, you three are back to work. <sighs> Where's Godzilla? Never you mind about Godzilla, Billy Boy. You're being reassigned. Bombs away. Uh, Mr. Winter, sir? Aren't those people on board? Well, if you're too squeamish for the job... Oh. Win some, lose some. Win some more. Top of the morning, Nichols. Rough night? It's just a matter of time before the military catches up with you. They already have. Based on my Lizard Slayer's outstanding performance in the field, they've just put in a hefty order. Cha-ching. And in a way, I owe it all to you.